Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to use two of my favorite AI tools to create SEO content. We are using perplexity.ai, which is a chatbot style search engine similar to ChatGPT. Uh, what makes it different is that it gives you all of its sources of where it's pulling information. So when you are conducting your searches, it tells you exactly where it's finding the information. And it's this is what makes it one of my favorite tools because you're able to see exactly where it gets all of its information. It really reduces the chance, doesn't completely eliminate it, but it reduces the chance of like false information or AI hallucinations because you can go and you can drill down and make sure that the data that it's giving you is accurate. You can also focus your searches in specific areas. So you could tell um, perplexity to look only in like academic writings or on YouTube or Wolfram or Reddit or just across the entire web. So this is the first place we're going to start. Another thing that sets um, perplexity apart is that it can search the internet right out of the box. So with ChatGPT, the only way you can directly interact with the internet is by upgrading to the premium version. So you don't have to do that with perplexity. You get instant access to the internet without having to upgrade or get some premium service. Next, we're going to use NeuronWriter, which is a content optimization tool, and it gives you recommendations on how to improve your writing so that it's optimized for search engines, but also more engaging and easy to read for humans. I'll place this entire workflow in a free Google Doc that you can access in the video description. So just click the link and this entire workflow is written down in this Google Doc in case you forget or miss a step. Let's get started. Start in NeuronWriter. This is a paid program, so you they have a trial that you can, um, you know, if you want to test it out, it's like a dollar. There'll be a link in my workflow document. Um, you can also buy a lifetime subscription that's pretty affordable in AppSumo. So I'll have those links. Um, this is what we're going to use to make sure that the article is as optimized as possible for search engines. So you want to start in NeuronWriter and you want to um, create a new query within an existing project. So in this project, we're going to write content related to topical maps. And then once you enter your keyword, just click start. So next, after you do that, click the query that you just created. And what NeuronWriter does is it scans um, the top ranking articles around this specific um, subject and it pulls data from those articles so that it can give you very specific recommendations on what you need to do for your content. So if you go into editor, I'm going to delete this, and um, if you click here where it says competition, you can see where Neuron Writer pulls all of this different research related to the specific subject of topical mapping. So these are the articles that it's looking at and these are all within the top 30 results in Google. And you can look at specific analytics about each of these articles in, if you want, and it's pulling from Moe's, um, which is a really one of the leading SEO tools. And you can look at your competitor structure, like how their articles are structured. So what what are their headers? What questions are, there, are they asking? You can look at um, the layout of these articles. So you can see in the top 10 articles, which one, which ones contain an image? So they all contain an image. Which ones have a video? Um, only one actually has a video, which has iframes, a table, a form. So you can see like, what are the ingredients that it takes to be a top ranking article for this subject? Um, you can also look at content terms. So you can look at what your keyword distribution needs to be. And NeuronWriter is also going to give us a lot more information on this, but this is what the real power of NeuronWriter is. This tells you what terms search engines kind of look for in articles and, and this is not going to like guarantee that your article is going to be number one but it's just this helps the search engines understand what your article is about and it's also what it's trying to help you do is write content that's more readable and more engaging to humans so these are words that it's, it finds in the top ranking articles that basically kind of like the topics that people are looking for when they're searching this subject so back to our um, content editor. So this this right panel in NeuronWriter is where it gives you a lot of different types of information. So when you look at this terms panel, these are the specific terms that Neuron recommends you have in your content. And it tells you the terms, it, uh, and it also tells you the number of times that it recommends you use uh, this in your content. It also has a section here, outline. So this is using competitor data to tell you 
what, you know, what are the common headers that it's seeing in the top ranking articles. And this is what we're going to use to actually um, generate our content and build our article in perplexity. So there's different ways that we can use this. We're going to start here on the competitors tab and we're going to copy over some of these headers. So um, what is a topical map? That's definitely a question that we want to answer in this. Um, why do you need a topical map? How to create a topical map? We can also look here at smart headings. So these are headings that contain the re some of the recommended terms that Nuon Writer suggests you have in your content. Um, so you can use some of these. One of my favorite part sections here is questions. These are questions that it takes from Google's people also ask. So if you go to Google and you do a search, um, this people also ask is these are basically popular questions that people are asking around your subject. So I love to build my my articles around these questions because when somebody is searching for the specific topic, you want to have an article that contains, you know, answers to those specific questions. So we can do a little bit of modification here. So how do I create a topical map for SEO? This is a good one to have. Um, how do you build topical authority? Um, want to get even specific, more specific. People are wondering, how do you create a map in ChatGPT? So you could answer that question. So you get the point. You basically go through, and it, right now it doesn't matter if they're H2, H3, whatever. Um, but let's get like at least eight of these. Let's see, we have so far six or five. I'm going to get uh, three more. So this is going to be our basic outline structure. And here we're building an outline specifically around questions that we know people are asking. So I have these noted and next I know what terms I should include in my content. So we're going to take this information over to Perplexity to start writing this content for us. We're going to break this up into individual sections. We're going to have Perplexity answer each of these questions one by one. Uh, and once again, Perplexity is free to use. You can just go to perplexity.ai and sign up and immediately start using their free um, their free tool. So the prompt that we're using is use markdown formatting to write a unique 500 word response to the question blank, write in a tone that an 11th grader, 11th grade student can understand. We're saying that because we want to make sure that this is readable and 11th grade is kind of like a good target level of um, complexity in terms of you don't want to use overly complex language because it, it, you'll exclude people that, you know, it's, it's not going to be as engaging. And we also want Perplexity to use some specific keywords that are recommended by NeuronWriter. So let's go to NeuronWriter and let's get our first question. We're going to plug it into here. And we want NeuronWriter to include some keywords. Sorry, we want Perplexity to include some of our keywords. Um, we're going to just break these terms up over the course of this article. But let's, you can go, when you go into NeuronWriter, you can just click list of terms and click this and then it copies all of the terms. Um, I think it's going to be a few too many terms for this initial paragraph, but we can just split this up into half. So we'll just start with like half of that list and click the green arrow button and immediately Perplexity starts writing. Okay, so I told Perplexity to give me a 500 word response to my question. I think it might have given me a bit more, but let's... Uh, Let's copy this over. So it it basically wrote like a little mini um, article, but we're not going to use all of it. I'm going to leave the conclusion there. But let's put this under our first question. And right off the bat, you can see it did include the keywords that I asked it to. It did a great job. And um, we'll also be able to see like how many words this is. So this is actually 440 words. So it pretty much almost hit it right on the target in terms of the number of words that I asked it to include. So that's great. So as, you're, as we're building this, you're going to notice this is Neuron Writer. So I've gone back over to Neuron Writer and I've copied the perplexity content here. This score is going to change over the course of us building this article. And the goal is this is scored from 0 to 100. You want to get as close to 100 as possible because this tells you how optimized your article is. It also shows you how optimized it is compared to the top 10 ranking uh, competitors. So you can see like um, if you click this button, Actually, if you just hover over here, you can see that the highest ranking article has an SEO score of 79, and that's the number one ranking article. So we want to get 
at least a 79, but I, we're going to have to hit over 79 uh, because we want to be better than the number one article in Google. So next, let's do our second term. And we're going to come back in here and adjust our H2 and H3 headers. But let's go back over to Perplexity. And um, we're going to use the same prompt, but we're going to modify a couple things. First, we're changing the question that we're answering to why do you need a topical map? And we're also going to mix up the keywords that we have it use. So we're gonna copy over this list of terms. And um, before we deleted the bottom half, now we're gonna delete the top half. We can spread it out and then click the, the green button. And now we're gonna copy this content over into NeuroWriter. Okay, so you're going to go through all of your questions and you're gonna ask each one in NeuronWriter. Um, and you're gonna go through all of these terms and make sure that in each question you ask perplexity to include specific terms. One of the differences in um, perplexity and ChatGPT is perplexity, at least on the free version, it doesn't have a, a great memory in terms of, uh, you need to remind it um, more than you would in ChatGPT. So this is why I'm using the same prompt over and over again. Whereas in ChatGPT, you could you know use a prompt once and it would remember generally what you needed to do. So I'm going to generate my entire article and then we're going to, in perplexity, and then we are going to optimize it in NeuronWriter. Okay, so we've answered all of our questions in perplexity and copied everything over into NeuronWriter. And we've also included a good number of the terms that NeuronWriter recommends. If it's in green, a term is in green, it means that you've used this specific term the exact number of times NeuronWriter recommends. If it's in sort of this orangish, yellowish color, it means that you are kind of right at the threshold of how much NeuronWriter recommends you use that term. If it's red, NeuronWriter recommends that you reduce your usage a little bit. So if you click on a term that's in red, you can get it, NeuronWriter will highlight it for you in the content, and you could go through and remove that term um, so that you don't, you're not keyword stuffing or you don't have too many of uh, one you know, of a specific term in your content. So now that we've done that, our score is at about 44, so we have a ways to go. So let's start with our metadata. We're gonna have NeuronWriter generate a title and a description for us, and it can automatically do this for you, and it will do this for you using com competitors' metadata as well, um, researching how competitors have structured their metadata to give you recommendations. So if you just click this little wand, NeuronWriter can, um, generate it for you. So here, how to create a topical map for SEO success, an essential guide. You can also write your own and you can go through um, this competitor research and kind of look at what other people have done to craft your own title. And you can do the same thing for the description. So we have NeuronWriter writing our title and our description. Learn how to create a powerful topical map for SEO success and achieve topical authority in your niche. Increase organic traffic with our step-by-step -step guide. So let's save and close. It also shows you how your metadata will look in Google, which is helpful. So we'll save and close. And by doing that, creating our metadata, we've increased our score to 65. So let's save this. So now I'm gonna go through our content and basically modify it, um, kind of tweak, the, tweak it a bit, give it our own voice, um, change. These are all H2 headers. And so we want a mix of H2 and H3. Um, so I'm going to go through and you can just easily modify your headers and just go, I'm going to go through and I'm also going to, some of these paragraphs are pretty um, big. They're just long paragraphs. So I'm going to divide things up into smaller paragraphs because people like to read things in like smaller bits of information. And then I, I will lastly go through and modify some of the language, maybe take out some information. There's probably some redundancy in here. So the goal is to just really go through this edit it, give it your own voice, and get it ready for the next step. I've gone through my content and I've modified it a lot. I've um, changed my headings to a combination of H2, H3. I also removed redundant content. I tweaked a lot of the sentences and um, you know just restructured it because I don't want to just directly copy word for word, word for everything that AI generates. So we're at a 62. Um, my score actually went down a little bit as I tweaked the content. And now I want to get some high authority links for my content so that I can link out to 
um, other articles around this subject, which is another way to boost your SEO. And also give your readers resources that they can look at um, if they want to like drill down deeper into whatever it is you're writing about. So we're also going to use perplexity to do that. So what you can do is in all of the searches that you're doing in perplexity, it's pulling from specific sources. So you can basically go through and um, look at the websites that perplexity is, is um, using to build these responses. So let's do that now. Okay, so when you go back over to perplexity and we're going to source some links to high authority websites, um, you'll see like a related, related questions at the bottom of your search. So just click into one of those and it'll pull more information related to um, this subject. And then what you can do is you click at the bottom of the results that it pulls. There's three dots and click view sources. And then this is all basically where it's pulling its information from. So what we can do is we can click into some of these articles and just kind of verify are the, you know, um, these are good sources. And then what we will do is go basically copy the URLs and then go back over to our topic and link specific keywords that um, we want to have pointing to high authority websites. So now we're back over in NeuronWriter and we're going to link some terms to um, these articles that we're getting from Perplexity. So I'm just going to select a few terms, link it, set my how I want these links to open. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to add about, you know, three or four links to these um, websites that Perplexity is recommending. Some links to my content. And we're, I'm at a score of 62 in my SEO score, and I still want to get to 79 or better. So now I'm going to go through my headers. And um, NeuronWriter gives you recommendations for both your headings and your terms. So we've done a good job at hitting a lot of the terms that um, NeuronWriter recommends, but I haven't done the same thing um, with H2, H, H1, H2, H3. So I'm going to focus on H2, H3 and basically just go and sort of like um, modify my headers a bit and use some of the terms that uh, NeuronWriter is recommending. We're going to use perplexity to give us some um, FAQ questions that we can include in our article. So what I'm going to do is ask perplexity, what common questions do content create creators have about building topical authority and topic maps? And then perplexity will search actual questions that people are entering into search engines um, around this specific topic. So we can take these and use these as FAQ questions in our article. My article is com officially complete. I've achieved an SEO score of 83. So ranking higher than the top ranked article right now in Google. And uh, the last things that I will do to this article is to um, add some images to it. But um, hopefully this has been helpful in understanding how to use Perplexity and NeuronWriter to create very optimized uh, SEO articles based on topics that people are actually searching for and the questions that people are searching for. Uh, Perplexity and NeuronWriter are two really powerful tools. I highly recommend them. So uh, thanks for watching. And once again, check the video description for the workflow document.